All right, let's see if the board is the right size. We can print it out. It prints one to one on the printer, and then we can um, cut it out, make sure everything's going to fit right. And that's looking pretty good. That lines up on that side, great. And on that, uh, yeah, the right one looks okay, but the left one is way off, way off over there. All right, we gotta, we gotta fix that. All right, let's see if our new design is gonna fit this time. And that's looking pretty good. I made the board a little bit smaller, so it didn't, wasn't a real tight fit in the case there. Uh, move it over, make sure all the holes line up right. There we go. Looking good. All right, so the last thing on the uh, bottom here are these kind of routed out standoffs, these hogged out standoffs. They look like they're 10 millimeters, but we want to work in inches. So I don't know. They're about 0.4 inches square on the corners there. So let's let's put some um, solder mask relief on those places. All right, so we want to put, uh, let's turn the front layer off. We'll turn the back layer on. We want to, we want to have the uh, solder mask kind of cut out here. So let's go to the back solder mask. Yeah, here we go. Here's the here's the mask on the back. So you can see that the uh, vias are kind of opened up, but we want to have a little area here that's that's cut out. So let's um, let's see here. Add ruled area. How do I do this? All right, we're going to add a fill zone here. We're going to come out here to about 0.55 and non-copper properties back mask. Okay, and then we will draw this little box here, close outline, and we'll hit the B button. I think that will do it. Let's see if that did it or not. View, um, 3D viewer, if we flip it over on the back. Yeah, so now now that's exposed. So we'll have, we'll have an area here that's bare copper. Um, yeah, let's do it on all four corners then. All right, so I had to uh, push the B button to fill things in. Things don't look quite right here, do they? Eh, I guess they are. Make sure these are big enough. All right, and hit the B button, fills them all in. And then when we go to the uh, 3D viewer, it should look good on the back. Yeah, it does. So we have these bare, bare sections in the back, which should be good. Now, the other thing that I don't like is these have thermal reliefs, and I want to get rid of that thermal relief on the copper. So let's go to, let's turn this off. Let's go to the copper layer. Let's go to the fill. It says solid fill. And then down here, it says thermal, thermal reliefs. 
we can set that to solid. Now we hit the B button. Oops, B button, those should fill in. Yeah, so now they're filled in. And there we go. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Looking good. All right. I don't mind these on the top because it's stitched, so no problem. All right. Looking good.